Greetings everyone, it's Leader from Onslaught Studios, and we're playing some RimWorld Super Modded, meaning 100 plus mods. Now from the title you can see that this is episode 0, meaning this is just a setup video. Therefore there's not going to be any actual gameplay within this video, in fact this video is just going to be my mods list and the mods I'm running. So uh, if you were expecting any gameplay, don't worry, within the next 20 minutes or an hour, about, about then, since this video goes up. Episode 1 should also pop up after that time period, so you can watch that. If you are interested in the mods that I have installed and would like to either recreate the mod list yourself for yourself to play, or just out of curiosity of what I have installed, uh, stick around as we're going to look into the mods right now. So here we go. The first one we're running is Hugs Library, a library mod to ensure that other mods work correctly. A second mod we're running is Jex Tools, once again a library mod, same as Hugs Lab, also the same as Human Alien Races and Miscellaneous Core. All four of these first mods are just cores and libraries to make sure other mods work correctly. The first actual mod is Nature's Pretty Sweet. This mod adds more biomes and better nature to the game, including a weather system and also changes the environment. Not sure if there was a weather system in the base game, but there is now. Archipelagos, this mod adds archipelagos to the game. If you don't know what an archipelago is, it's a group of islands. This just makes the map, the world map I should say, look more like real life and more continents and split off islands. Miniaturization because of this right here. Runtime GC just to ensure that the game doesn't crash on me because of all the mods that I'm running. And also with this, it hel just helps speed the game along when you're running a lot of mods like I said. Research Pal, because a lot of the mods I'm running adds a lot of more researchable stuff to the game. This just combines all the research trees we have into one big research tree, which is more easy to read and better than the vanilla one that came with, that comes with the game. We have the entire Room of Madness expansion pack, minus creatures of something, like creatures of uh, cult or whatever it's called, and um, bones. So we have factions, cults, stuff, industrial age stuff from 1800s and 1900s, Stray Jackets, the HP Lovecraft Storyteller, which we're not going to be using by the way, Arachnophobia, if you've ever watched Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, you know of giant spiders, vampires and werewolves. We also have a Room World of Magic, uh, which adds magical classes to the game, such as Mage, Fire Mage, Thunder Mage, Warlock, I'm definitely going to be running one of these, also adds a new faction. Medieval Times, which adds some medieval stuff to the game, medieval ways and the like. You might have noticed by now that a lot of time periods are going to be clashing. The way we're going to fluff this within canon is that, like the Amish, a lot of, um, what do you call them, well, factions prefer certain time periods and live accordingly. For example, Westerado, which just adds more western stuff. Like the medieval stuff, just western, western -y. More mechanoids, because who doesn't like more mechanoids to kill you? Colony Manager makes it easy to manage my colony, as the name would state. Relationships tab, because uh, this just, it's just, just better than the basic relationships tab that comes with the game. And you can more easily track which factions have certain dislikings and likings of you. Work tab just makes it better to more customize the work my pawns do. S children, school and learning. Th with this mod, ch um, pawns can now have kids and also learn skills from school. Hospitality allows caravans of people to come visit you better and just makes, yeah, that's basically all it is. Therapy, because the pawns are going to need therapy for what I'm going to be putting them through. Psychology, which adds more individuality towards your pawns so they act more independently and just more human-like. Miscellaneous robots, because who doesn't like robots, there's going to be improved with plus plus and also Miscellaneous training, which makes your pawns able to train in certain, in certain um, ways, such as archery ranges. We have the entire Rimsonol pack, which adds in-game armor and weapons. I think it might add a faction, not pretty sure, don't quote me on that. We also have the Enhanced Vanilla pack, Feral Federation and Security packs added to Rimsonol. We also have Dubs Bad Hygiene, which adds a hygiene system to the game, just why not? Makes it harder on me to play, so and also more realistic, so why not? Allow tool, which adds more features, always play with this. We have while you're up, which makes the pawns hauling currently more, uh, what do you call it, efficient. Make them more efficient when hauling stuff. Remote search agency, so we can search stuff by name. Advanced bridges, I'm aware that basic remote now has bridges since the 1.0 update, but 
why not add more better bridges fishing because who doesn't want to do some fishing more trade slots originally in the main game a pawn can only have between one and three trades now with this i said it so that pawns can have between two and four trades the reason i said it to four at the map to put the maximum to four because i don't want it to be overpowered drink spot you can put a spot down for traders to go stand there so you can find them more easily in a crowd of hundred or like a crowd of two, ten people when they come in crowds incident person stat use usually whenever an incident occurs and a person would like to join your colony you couldn't see what stats they have so you were going in blind there wasn't now you with this you can see the stats they have uh, there was a mod like this which isn't being updated anymore that's why I'm using this one and yes that is a housing ultimate reference right there room fridge which adds fridges to the game Vegetable garden, which is, adds more of uh, natural ingredients and vegetables to the game. Also have its, some of its add-ons, including canning, gourmet, and drinks. We also have veggies and trees and flowers, which just improves the fauna of the game and works very well with nature's pretty sweet up there. Replace stuff, which allows us to replace certain materials of replace a material with another material without having to break down the original entire room, as you can see by this diagram here. Visible pants, because I like to see the pants my clients are wearing. Stuff floors, thank you. Um, yeah, no, you can just bolt more different types of floors. Dye vat, so we can dye our outfits. Tilted soil, so we can tilt soil, making it more fertile for when we plant stuff. Furnace, which makes us be able to heat stuff up and set stuff on fire, including people. This is going to be very helpful. You'll see why. Dead man's clothing, because the clothing debuff is stupid. If I can wear dead man's clothing in real life, because that's something I would do, why can't they? Room hard. Wait, sorry, room HUD. We're not really going to be using this in game, or we're kind of going to be. You'll see what I mean when we play the game. There's a reason why I'm not going to be using this all the time, but it adds more information to the HUD, so you can just find the information more easily. Power switch adds more um, stuff to the conduits and the power switching and um, electricity side of room all. Min and recycle allows us to fix broken armor and also allows us to break it down into some components to use for better stuff. A dog said, which means we can now put bionic parts and some unique enhancements onto animals as well as people. Megafauna, which um, adds more creatures to the game, always fun. Dinosauria, we've got dinosaurs up in here. And here's the cool part we have a patch for Dinosauria for A dog said. So now we can put some unique enhancements on our dinosaurs. And if Cyber Dinosaur sounds good to you, why don't you see what's coming up? We also have LBE's a dog said patcher. Just this pad this just patches other animals, it doesn't have compatibility patches, such as Dinosauria. Like Dinosauria has a patch to work with Aerox Now animals that doesn't necessarily have patches will also be compatible thanks to this patcher. We have EPOE, expanded prosthetics organ engineering. This just adds more organs and prosthetics to the game to put on your guys. But because we have Aerox and this has compatibility, we can also add these organs and stuff to animals thanks to Aerox Lastly, into the sciencey stuff is genetic rim. With this, we can crossbreed multiple animals into new hybrids. And the cool thing about this is it's also compatible with a dog said. So, if you catch my drift, but before that, we also have a megafauna and dinosauria patch for genetic rim. So now we can mix the dinosaurs from dinosauria with animals from the base game into a hybrid, and then we can put the organs from and the in some like enhancements from EPOE onto those hybrids thanks to ADOC set. It's gonna be an amazing creature we're gonna be creating later. Harvest organs post mortem. Uh, usually you could only harvest organs when people were alive. With this you can also harvest organs from dead people. Which you can do in real life so I don't know why you couldn't do it in the base game but oh well. This is a lot centralized climate control just to help with cooling and heating. Moody, so I can more easily keep track of the moods of my colonists up here instead of having to click on them manually. RT fuse as, as circuit breakers, which can help uh, stop the bzzz event and sort um, prevent short circuiting of batteries. Ugh, you got me. Basically, when two people in real life fight each other, some guy would punch the other person and then someone be like okay okay you got me so let's stop fighting because no one wants to die this basically adds this to the colonists so they can actually sometimes call off a fight when they're fighting fluffy breakdowns thank you again fluffy great mod you can see what it does right there more vanilla turrets uh, more turrets is always better good for the fence query uh, now you can mine materials from the ground more furniture because who doesn't want more furniture a room factory the entirety of the mod it comes in four separate pieces for 
if you only want certain stuff. We also have an Asteroid Rollers. The reason why Room Factory and Asteroid Rollers are together, if you've ever heard of the game Factorio, basically these two mods, or technically five, together basically equates to having in Factoria, Factorio in Room World. So, uh, yeah, basically just more f um, automate automation and stuff like that. Typical components, because why not? Glitter Tech, no surgery version. Uh, the reason for this, this adds more technology to the game. Now, the is a version that adds like the surgery version which adds more organs but I wasn't sure if it would be incompatible with Adog Z or EPOE so I got the no surgery version I'm pretty sure it would still work if you got the surgery version if you want to play with that one but uh, if you're playing this mod pack I would rec it's up to you I just personally go with the no surgery version because um, I'm scared it would cause any conflicts increase stack uh, why not simple sidearms now pawns can carry sidearms uh, I have said it so that a pawn can only have two weapons at once, one normal, one sidearm, because I don't want it to be overpowered. Run and gun, at the cost of a, a firing accuracy and run speed, a pawn can now run while shooting. Very useful. Quality builder, if I tell a pawn to build something, I can set the quality I want it to be, for example, good. And if they build stuff that's not good, like build the table and it's not good, they will re deconstruct it and rebuild it from scratch until they get the right uh, quality that I have specified. Medical tab just makes it easier to look at my health of my colonists. Faction discovery, if we were to add more factions to the game mid-game, we now can, even though I don't think I will, so this is kind of useless, but we're just going to keep it on. Faction control, just because I'm running so many mods that adds new factions, this just help balance it out and doesn't make them swarm the entire map. Path avoid, because the normal pathing of um, colonists are stupid, so with this they become more smarter. Condor deconstruction, uh, just to deconstruct conduits. Blueprints, because if you build something and you want to build an exact duplicate of like a building, you don't have to do it manually anymore, you can now just highlight a building, set it as a blueprint, and then just bolt that exact thing again, without having to manually bolt it piece by piece. Mod switch, which is what I'm using to test, to switch between mod packs and stuff, you can see it down here, this is what you get for adding mod switch. Animals logic, to make animals more animalistic and act more, more act more animal-like. Set up camp. If we're traveling from two points in the map, we can now set up camp in the middle, just because what this, this is just good. And last but not least, facial stuff, because I like my colonists to look good. So yeah, this is the entire mod pack that we're going to be running. Uh, so far, I haven't really seen any conflictions between mods. There might be some, but there wouldn't be anything game-breaking, just some redundancies. And uh, so if you like this uh, mod pack, you can get all these mods on Steam. Obviously mine are not the Steam versions because I'm not running the Steam version of this. So um, you can find all these mods on Steam. Just put them in this exact order. It doesn't have to be this exact order, but I would recommend it as um, some mods have to be in a certain order for them to run perfectly. Uh, if you're better at ordering remote mods into a compatible order, then go for it. But uh, if you just want a template to go off, I'd say go off this one. So this is all the mods we're going to be running. Uh, for the series, and uh, the episode should come out within the next, once again, in the next 20 minutes to an hour, so I'll uh, see you guys there, so if you like this video, leave a like, and uh, be sure to subscribe, so you can keep up to date with the channel, and all the videos that's coming out, including the RimWorld video coming out once again, in about 20 minutes to an hour, so, uh, yeah, have a good day, remember, socks are awesome, bye guys.